Hello guys, I am Ratik Upadhyay and I hereby want to share one very interesting uh, video regarding entropy, how we can include kitchen uh, stuff and ideas to include this topic uh, not only in bachelors, not only help them to understand the topic in bachelors but also to uh, grade 7 and 8 kids who really want to explore thermodynamics field and want to understand uh, how uh, how things work as far as second law of thermodynamics is concerned so uh, uh, of course there are many students who do want to learn such things but at a very uh, simpler way simpler manner uh, then I, I, I usually try to help them out to connect with real world anecdotes real world examples problems which really help them to understand not only complicated stuff but also the vastness of the topics which we have in physics like thermodynamics isn't it so uh, let's go to kitchen and find out how we can understand entropy uh, one thing i would like to share that uh, i usually tell my students that uh, physics is not only about uh, understanding the equations or understanding the concepts uh, which are written in the textbook okay it is it is just one or two percent or even i would say five percent max to max uh, but rather uh, physics is all about exploring more and more what you have things around whatever you can observe around whatever the nature is around nature itself is physics and physics itself is made up of nature right so it is not a mere subject or based on the mathematics but it is all about understanding the nature you have around and understanding understanding them thoroughly so let's go to kitchen and understand entropy which is again a very beautiful uh, natural anecdote we have discovered in universe right so let's go hello guys so uh, we were talking about entropy and now uh, i am going to cook one dish uh, which is known as india uh, which is known as poha which is an indian breakfast we have it early in the morning uh, which is very, very spicy in nature though uh, but it is very very healthy and uh, it's really tasty and yummy anyway coming back to entropy so uh, what is entropy entropy is basically the measure of disorderness okay how a disordered system is right so for that first we need to understand the state okay what is the state of a particular system initially and what is the state of a particular system at the end after transferring the heat right but let's, let's not get into that much technicality and let's not also get into the mathematics behind it because we are now understanding the basics and the most relatable concept of entropy with the help of kitchen, right? With the help of cooking. So let's understand it, how to make a poha. So uh, we have coriander leaves, uh, we have green chili, onions, lemon to enhance the taste. Uh, we have mustard seeds. Uh, turmeric powder salt and we have the poha poha is basically made up of uh, rice in india and we have oil to cook it right so if you observe each and every aspects here coriander has its own initial state uh, green chili has its own initial state uh, onions have its own initial state isn't it so same way oil has its own initial state so each and every ingredients here is having its own particular initial state. It is in order, isn't it? So green chili has its state which is in order. Same way coriander has its own state which is in order. Again, uh, uh, mustard seed. But also uh, you can relate it here that uh, initially when uh, you know coriander's were growing in 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 a uh, as a plant, right? So it was not in order, but uh, we are not going into each and every different stages of how coriander were made same way we are not going into each and every stages of how onions were made right so we are now understanding that at this moment at this time at this point of time whatever ingredients we have it is in order each and every aspect in this ingredients is in order that's what we will understand and now let's go and cook it yeah so now uh poha is in making so basically what we did we uh, added all the ingredients first of all oil then onions then chili and everything even mustard seeds you can see uh, now if you observe this very carefully each and every ingredients earlier was in state one state right so they were in order but now the moment i am mixing each and every aspect over here and i am stirring it like this 
that means what it is in disordered manner right everything is disordered now you cannot take out one chili aside another chili aside you cannot separate out mustard seed aside you cannot even separate out uh, onions aside each and every ingredients which we added earlier now you cannot uh, after mixing up now you cannot separate it right so that means it is irreversible process this is completely irreversible in nature you cannot and in fact the moment we now add poha inside the uh, the original poha which we are now adding which is made up of a rice and the moment we add it and we stir it now again it is not going to be possible or it is completely impossible to separate out each and every ingredients that we have added now isn't it right so this is an irreversible process but if you observe it carefully the moment ingredients earlier were and now are now completely disordered manner so this is final poha so if you see again all these ingredients cannot be reversed at all isn't it right so this is now another stage okay this is now overall another state but in the if you if you check the initial state and if you check this final state you have uh, used all the ingredients you also supplied some amount of heat energy to cook it isn't it right so overall if you observe one state and another state its entropy increased entropy is basically what the measure of disorderness so this is what disorderness is then the initial state right so its entropy increased basically same way i have an example of a tea right so tea is basically made up of lot of ingredients that the tea itself the uh, ginger then we have a lemon grass then we have mint isn't it so all these ingredients when you mix it up when you uh, supply some heat energy to it and when you get a final product of tea it is basically what it is now a final state it it, it doesn't depend on how you cook it or how you make it right it doesn't really depends on the path or the process through which it went through rather it only depends on the final state so this is the final state of a tea this is the final state of a breakfast of a poha right so uh, again one more example of irreversibility so this is a walnut basically right so if i break this walnut like this okay now it is broke you can you can have a taste of a walnut uh, from this but can you reverse it no it is not possible right you cannot uh, you cannot uh, you know uh, just stick each and every aspect of this walnut and stick it inside and put it back to the original state it is now the final state again one more example same way walnut you can if you can break it and if you say that you want to use fabric we can stick it it is not any way possible right so this is not a reversible process at all it is not at all reversible process so this is irreversible process where you supply energy and after supplying energy its disorderness changes so to measure that disorderness which has changed because of we supplying the energy to a system like this that is what the entropy is basically right but there are process which are reversible in nature which i am talk going to talk about in few seconds so let's suppose i have dry fruits here uh, which i took from the kitchen and uh, as you can see at this state okay so let's suppose this is an initial state uh, though even before keeping it in the dish uh, the, the state was different but then let's suppose this is the initial state where all the uh, dry fruits are in disoriented manner uh, they are having a particular state where the orientation is not appropriate they are in not in order you can see it is disordered manner now uh, let's suppose when i disordered it i disoriented all the dry fruits here and there okay now if i want to reverse it can we yes why not so if i uh, keep all the walnuts together like this if i arrange all the walnuts pick up every walnut uh, from the dish and keep it in one side same way if i uh just you know arrange uh, pick up and arrange all the cashews uh, in another side let's suppose same way if i keep all the uh, almonds in one side right so uh, this is again uh, a process where you can reverse what the state was earlier right so earlier it was disordered before that when i disordered it again it was at order yeah 
so now again i am keeping it in order that means you are reversing the process which you did so this is reversible process isn't it so you are just arranging all the walnuts all the almonds so same way when we understand thermodynamics so we so we have certain processes which are not reversible which are irreversible in nature that as we understood with the example of a poha okay and certain processes are reversible in nature okay now but for that as well there are conditions the condition depends upon the system we have so this is like an open system okay this is open system i i am putting my fingers uh, i am you know uh, putting up my energy to reverse it isn't it so same way uh, if you want to reverse it you have to have open system where uh, an external work can help you uh, this uh, you know uh, uh, rearrange all these things okay so this is again one way of reversing it where the system has to be open but when it comes to irreversible system uh, irreversible processes the system has to be closed in nature okay such closed system so like in the case of poha we usually use the lid to close uh, lid to you know cook it so uh, that that anecdote can be connected where we have a closed system and then it cannot be any way reversed right but when we talk about entropy what entropy basically means is uh entropy uh, we in irreversible process we can reverse the process in an infinite time okay so whatever the measure of uh, disorder is we can uh, you know go in back go back to the initial state with an infinite time which is again not possible in nature for an irreversible process because it is in a closed system now there are other more further more conditions as well but we are not going into that detail for of course obvious reasons because here the idea is to just understand how we can connect the entropy uh, in kitchen right so this is an irreversible process and the poha example was a reversible process irreversible process this is reversible in nature right so that's it from my end i hope you understand uh, the video i hope you liked it uh, and of course but uh, one more point so uh, whether it is reversible or irreversible process did you notice one thing we change from one state to another state again from one state to another state again one state to another state okay even when we are uh, ordering this particles here ordering this dry fruits here we came to one more state isn't it so if you observe one state to another another state to another state keeps on changing okay where we have to supply certain amount of energy to change that state so when you are supplying the energy entropy still increases okay entropy still increases whether it is reversible process or whether it is irreversible process okay now it uh, so uh, the important thing is to note that what kind of entropy you are talking about what for what you are talking about so for irreversible process let's suppose in the closed system of poha example so the poha which is kept inside the vessel is a closed system where the process is irreversible in nature you cannot reverse it okay but it is a closed system this is an open system where you reversed but entropy of this system did not change rather entropy of the surrounding did change why surrounding because i was putting up energy to change its orientation to change the state again back to the original state okay so overall the entropy of the surrounding did change but not of the system it remained constant at is it because it went back to the initial state okay so entropy of this system is same but the surrounding did change that also concludes one point that the entropy of the universe or entropy of the surrounding always keeps on increasing it never remains same it never go backs or decrease okay so entropy of the surrounding or of the universe or space you can talk about always increases so i hope you liked it thank you so much